All right, it's Wednesday afternoon. It's, uh, it's like almost four o'clock, and my Amazon order came in. I ordered a couple more of these sticks. I just can't get enough of them. A Friday night ritual of making sticks for Elaney and I continues on. She really enjoyed the steak last time. An interesting thing is because this side is smaller for some reason, this side cooked a lot faster the last time. And so Eleni ate this part first and it was well done. So it's not exactly to her liking, but this part was medium rare because it's a larger piece, right? So she enjoyed this part a little bit more as far as it being the temperature that she wanted. So anyway, I'm gonna do the thing I always do salt, pepper, put them on this grate, and let them sit in the fridge for two days. So there we go, they're set. Salt, pepper uh, on this grate, let air circulate around inside their fridge, which they're gonna be in the fridge for two days and we'll be back on Friday to cook these up. It is Friday evening. The steaks have been sitting in the fridge for two days. They look nice and funky the way they're supposed to. They, uh, I've had them out for a little while trying to get them up to room temperature and I'll st soon start cooking. They look pretty good so I'm excited. I'm going to cook them a little bit differently. I'm going to do the reverse sear but I'm only going to do it for 10 minutes. I noticed that last time they were pretty close and almost well done, not what I want, I want medium rare. So going to only do it for 10 minutes at 225 and then sear them on the stove top for about uh, 90 seconds, maybe two minutes on either side and that should be about it. They should cook really quick. All right, the oven is preheating. I made some asparagus, actually. I don't know where Eleni got this stuff from, savory seasoned salt. This stuff, I put some of this stuff on some asparagus that I put in the air fryer. I'm about to cook some more, I don't know where you can see that. So that stuff with a little bit of olive oil and some cracked pepper came out really good. But anyway, oven's, re oven's preheating and should be about five minutes. Then I could put the steaks on. I'm going to put the steaks on the grate again and leave them on the... Uh, in the oven for about 10 minutes and then I have my individual pans. I'm gonna go ahead and cook them in individual pans because they're too big for this one so I find it better to just do that and to uh, manage them that way so that way I don't have to uh, so they won't they're they'll, they'll sit flush because otherwise they sit kind of crooked and then they don't cook evenly this will make sure they cook evenly but as soon as that is done preheating we're good to go. All right. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. A little bit of Monday morning quarterbacking here. The, the person who's in charge of filming this part, which is me, I forgot to hit record when I heard <laughs> made the steak. You have to excuse me, this is only my like 15, 1400th video and I just forgot to hit record. I did, uh, so what I'm saying is just imagine a stay going for like, I did two minutes on either side, I swear I was recording. I have the audio of it. I'm looking at the video now and I realize that I didn't hit record and it's just, I, I, everybody knows what a steak sizzling looks like. Imagine that. The I did them for two minutes on either side with two pans. I had a lot going on, and I'm obviously not very smart, so it just didn't happen as far as recording goes. So the steak came out really good, and two minutes on either side. They came out, they were about 100 degrees, and I added another 22 to 24 degrees and took them out, took them off the heat around 130 degrees and plated them. Can't believe I didn't record. So let's go ahead and get to the plating. 
Okay, they're set. I already have my timer running. Everything should look good. I kept them uh, just kept with just enough heat to cook them through. The temperatures look good. I don't think I overcooked them like I did last week, so I think we're in good shape. So it's been 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, and I want to cut this because I'm hungry. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Look at that color. Perfect color. That's what I wanted. When you cook it a little more medium rare, it's sweeter. Look at that color. Look at that color. It's a little more sweet when you cook it this way. It's still has its the savory notes in it, of course, but oh wow, yeah, it came out great. Okay, I think I I think I did a better job this week. Last week uh, was a bit of a bust. This week I think it's better, so either way I'm going to eat it, so I'm going to do that now.